The ongoing scrutiny of Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex by Hannah Furness, has reached a fever pitch with headlines like Where's Meghan dominating tabloids such as the Daily Telegraph. Today's video delves into the implications of such narratives, particularly focusing on a recent article by Hannah Furness, which has sparked significant backlash for its perceived unhinged treatment of the Duchess. In examining the media's fixation on Meghan, we uncover the deeper societal issues at play, and here is why. The phrase, where's Meghan, reflects a broader trend in media coverage that often seeks to sensationalize or criticize Meghan's absence from public events. This ongoing narrative not only perpetuates a sense of scrutiny, but also reinforces the idea that Meghan's worth is tied to her visibility and presence within royal engagements. The relentless questioning of her whereabouts speaks to a culture that demands constant visibility from public figures, especially women. Hannah Furness's article in the Daily Telegraph has drawn ire for its tone and implications regarding Meghan's choices. Critics argue that Furness's approach is emblematic of a media landscape that often attacks women, especially those who defy traditional roles. The article's framing of Meghan as a missing figure serves to undermine her agency and dismiss her valid reasons for stepping back from public life. Media representation plays a crucial role in shaping public perception. The portrayal of Meghan as missing feeds into a narrative that suggests she is somehow failing in her royal duties. This kind of representation is harmful as it reinforces stereotypes about women needing to be constantly active and available, thereby diminishing their autonomy. Public sentiment and backlash. The backlash against Furness's article is indicative of a growing public sentiment that is tired of the relentless scrutiny faced by Meghan. Many supporters have taken to social media to express their frustration, calling out the unfairness of targeting her while ignoring similar behaviors from other public figures. This shift in sentiment highlights a desire for more compassionate and nuanced coverage of women in the media. The role of social media. Social media has become a powerful tool for challenging traditional media narratives. Supporters of Meghan have used platforms like Twitter and Instagram to rally against unfair portrayals and express solidarity. This digital activism serves as a counterbalance to tabloid sensationalism allowing voices that advocate for a more respectful discourse to be amplified. Meghan's choices and autonomy. Meghan's decision to step back from royal duties and public appearances is rooted in a desire for privacy and mental well-being. The media's fixation on her absence disregards her autonomy and the reasons behind her choices. By insisting on her visibility, the media ignores the complexities of her life and the challenges she faces as a high-profile individual navigating intense scrutiny. Historical context of media treatment. The media's treatment of Meghan must be viewed in the historical context of how women, particularly women of color, are often portrayed in public life. This scrutiny is not new, it echoes past patterns seen with figures like Princess Diana and other prominent women who have faced similar challenges. The double standards in media coverage reveal deep-seated biases that persist in today's society. The danger of misrepresentation. Misrepresentation can be damaging as it creates a narrative that can influence public opinion and shape societal attitudes. By framing Meghan as absent or unengaged, the media risks alienating her supporters and reinforcing negative stereotypes about women who choose to prioritize their mental health or personal lives over public appearances. The call for accountability. There is a growing call for accountability within the media regarding how public figures are portrayed. Critics argue that writers like Finesse should be more mindful of their language and the potential impact of their articles. The media has a responsibility to report with integrity and respect, particularly when covering individuals who are already vulnerable to public scrutiny. The intersection of race and gender plays a significant role in the media's treatment of Meghan. As a biracial woman, Meghan faces unique challenges that are often overlooked in discussions about her public image. 
This intersectionality must be acknowledged when analysing media narratives as it shapes the way she is perceived and treated by the press and the public. When examining the coverage of Meghan, it is crucial to compare it with how other members of the royal family are treated. The media often portrays other royals in a more favourable light, even when they exhibit similar behaviours. This disparity highlights the bias that exists and raises questions about the motivations behind such coverage. Despite the negative headlines, Meghan continues to engage in meaningful advocacy work focusing on issues such as gender equality, mental health and social justice. Her efforts demonstrate that her worth is not solely defined by her public appearances, but by the positive impact she strives to create in the world. This advocacy often goes overlooked amid the sensationalist narratives. The importance of narrative control. As Meghan and Harry navigate their lives away from royal duties, they are also learning the importance of narrative control. By sharing their own stories through platforms like Archerwell and other media, they can shape their narrative on their terms, pushing back against the often one-sided portrayals in the tabloids. The role of allies and supporters. Supporters of Meghan play a critical role in countering negative narratives. By actively engaging in discussions and raising awareness about the issues she faces, they help to create a more supportive environment for her and others in similar situations. This community of allies is essential in fostering a culture of understanding and compassion. The future of media coverage. The ongoing discourse surrounding Meghan's treatment signals a potential shift in media coverage. As audiences demand more respectful and fair reporting, there is an opportunity for journalists to evolve their practices and prioritise integrity over sensationalism. This shift could lead to a more nuanced understanding of public figures and the challenges they face. Reimagining public figures. Meghan's experience invites a broader conversation about how we view public figures, particularly women. Reimagining the narrative around public figures to focus on their achievements, challenges and humanity rather than their appearances can lead to a healthier media landscape that promotes empowerment instead of criticism. The power of representation. The representation of diverse voices in the media is crucial for breaking down harmful stereotypes. By amplifying stories of women like Meghan, who defy traditional roles and expectations, the media has the power to reshape societal norms and influence future generations positively. Conclusion, a call for compassion. In conclusion, the media's obsession with Meghan Markle, exemplified by headlines like Where's Meghan, serves as a reminder of the need for compassion and understanding in public discourse. As we navigate the complexities of celebrity culture and media representation, it is imperative to advocate for narratives that honor individual autonomy and celebrate the multifaceted lives of public figures. Final thoughts shaping a new narrative. The backlash against Hannah Furness's article highlights a pivotal moment in how we engage with media narratives surrounding public figures. By demanding more respectful and nuanced coverage, we can collectively shape a new narrative that values empathy over sensationalism, fostering a culture that uplifts rather than diminishes individuals like Meghan Markle. This shift will not only benefit Meghan, but also pave the way for a more inclusive and compassionate media landscape for all. Yeah.